Hi drummers, hope you're well, right? A bit of paradiddle fun for you today. This is paradiddles as a drum fill, uh, as sexed uplets, 16th note triplets, starting on beat three. And this is a brilliant fill to have up your sleeve, I think, at around the grade four level, maybe grade five, kind of intermediate. It sounds like this. So it's really a ton of fun. It starts on beat three, and again, it's phrased as sextuplet. So the basic rhythm here is one and two and. Phil starts now. Six notes on beat three. Six notes on beat four. So. Which is a great fill in its own right, of course. Da 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 on the on starting on beat three. But what we're doing here is we're playing with a paradiddle sticking. So this is going to go right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Hopefully you're up on paradiddles. If you're not, I'll link to those in the description below. And hopefully as well, if if you're taking on this fill, having a look at it, you might be already fluent, or hopefully will be already fluent in paradiddles with a triplety type of feel. Did a video recently about singles, doubles, and paradiddles with a triplet kind of flow to them. So check those out. They'll all be linked to in the description below if you need to. Now here we're going paradiddles. Now if you think about it, there's 12 notes in the drum fill, right? Because there's six notes on beat three and six notes on beat four. So that's a total of 12 notes in the fill. A paradiddle, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Well, it's made of little units that are four notes long, isn't it? So you've got time to go right, left, right, right. That's one. Left, right, left, left. That's two. Right, left, right, right again. That's 12 notes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that would mean if you start with your right stick, the crash symbol that you hit, presumably on the on the first beat of the groove, is actually going to be with your left stick. You seeing that? So one and two. I'll go slow. And three and four and one and two. Here it comes. And two, here we go. So that's the basic idea of this fill. If you want to, or if you're left-handed, or if you just prefer it, uh, or you want variation, you can start with the left. And that would land you with the right stick on the crash at the start of the groove. That would go. So either is completely fine, I reckon. Um, now, the thing is, right, it's quite weird, it's quite tricky at first, uh, depending on where you're at, like always, it might be that you hear that and go, yeah, that's not tricky, that's a piece of cake. But um, assuming you're kind of coming up from maybe the grade three level in towards grade four, grade five, and you fancy giving this a little go, um, yeah, this might take a bit of time, man. Just take your time, count it out. One of the things that I really like to do, which actually helps a lot of students, I think, keep on track, is to play a little accent on the first note of each little group of four in the paradiddle. In other words, like you would do if you were playing regular 16ths with a paradiddle, we often accent on the beat, don't we? With a molar style kind of whip stroke, I've got a video about that as well. I'll link to that in the description. So I found that quite useful. A lot of students do just playing that. It also gives a cool sound, I think. So. Okay, cool. For a little drill here, I'll do one bar groove, one bar fill. Keep it on the snare for now. A one bar that contains the fill, that is, on beat three. And uh, we'll just go around, we'll go slow and build it up a little bit as we go.
Oh, and you probably wouldn't go any faster than that, I think. So when you uh, when you get it, of course, the fun starts. You can start to move around the kit and orchestrate that any way you like. One of the fun ways to do it that I use quite a bit is left stick staying on the snare drum, right stick moving around the toms. But then once you get the flow, just have a play with it. It's a lovely kind of meditative type of practice, I think. Once you get the hang of a drum feel, a sticking and a flow of the thing, you just sit with it and play around with it. So just putting it out there, a lovely little theme for grade four, grade five, don't sweat it if you're before that grade, those, that's kind of level and it seems like a bit out there, that's cool. Um, if you if you are about that level and you fancy something interesting, I think it's great. Uh, and yeah, just that idea of, you know, because we all play singles, well hopefully we do, singles, doubles, paradiddles, don't we sit down, certainly in the sessions that I run, that's kind of a classic warm up. Yeah, single strokes, double strokes, paradiddles. And often, you know, students sort of do it and they say things like, I oh, know I'm supposed to do these, but you know, are they that interesting? Is there anything you can really do with them? And yeah, man, as soon as you start thinking about it, like apply the things that you know, you know, you know how a paradiddle works, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. You know how note values work, hopefully by the grade four, grade five, you'll know about sex tuplets. This one takes that little bit of thinking about because if you start with the right, you're gonna crash on the left. If you start on the left, you're gonna crash on the right. But that just adds to the coolness of the sound, I think, once you get it going. And uh, yeah, man, just a little bit of fun. Thanks a million for watching as always. Really appreciate it. See you soon.